you know, our value's real misleading, guys. Like, I get a lot of people in the, I guess the chat or the comments talk about our values, our value, but it's just not. So like your refrigerator inside your house or your freezer is might be an R10, okay? But it's an R10 of closed cell spray foam. So if it was an R10 of cellulose, if it was an R10 of fiberglass, it wouldn't work. It especially wouldn't work if it was fiberglass. I mean, if it was the R100 of fiberglass, you probably still wouldn't work. And you would have to have a refrigerator with walls on it that are like a couple feet thick. So that's why our value can be misleading. So the ability to stop air, our value doesn't tell us that. The ability to stop electromagnetic waves, which is radiant heat, like from the sun or from a campfire or something like that, it doesn't tell us how well it stops that energy transfer. So our value does tell us some of the story. It just doesn't tell us all the story. It's our value and then of what material. And then we can really kind of gauge on, okay, how well is this insulating? Is this an area we need to even look at? Or vice versa, we know this is an area we need to look at because they got an R19 of fiberglass in their attic. I automatically know when I stick my head up there and I see about five to six to eight inches of fiberglass, I'm like, oh gosh, we can really help these people out. And we always do because they get lower utility bills when we're done. So it's not one of these things where we're just selling something. It's It works, so we pass it along and most of the time it's just a referral because we go in, help somebody's bills be lower. Lo and behold, they tell somebody else and we get to keep working. So that's kind of how we survive is the proof's in the pudding. So. Word of mouth. Yeah, word of mouth. So we have to go in and help people to be able to get more work. So, you know, fiberglass, there's a place for it. We use it. There's fiberglass in this here, but it's just not, you know, if we're really trying to get that utility bill as low as we can, we're probably not going to use it where it's got a lot of driving forces on it, which when I mean by driving forces, differences in temperature or when the wind's blowing real hard outside. So.